Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this animated testimonial design with Elementor without the use of any additional plugin. And mind you, this effect is responsive on all devices and we can check it out on tablet and see what it looks like on tablet. Well, as you can see, now when the image changes, the text also changes alongside and the name, as you can see. If you move to this one now, you're going to see John Fisher and Analyst like that, like that. And you can also check it out on mobile. It works perfectly on mobile as well. Now, when it changes, this here is our active image. Now, when it goes to this particular image, you can see it changes the name and her details like that. Like that. You can use this effect to stylize whatever design you're working on. And I'm going to show you step by step on how to achieve this. So, without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our Elemental editing screen, what I'm going to do here is I'll click on this plus icon here. Select the flashbox container, then select this structure here. I'm going to come over here to the uh, item alignment. I'll set the alignment to the center. Then I'll go to the style option. For the background type, I set it to classic and give it a background color of black. Then I'll go to the advanced settings. For the padding, I'm just going to unlink this to the top. I'll give it 150 pixels to the right, 20 pixels to the bottom, 150 pixels, and then to the left. 20 pixel now for the responsiveness on that it, on the tablet we're going to leave it as it is however on the mobile we're going to come over here unlink this to the top or set it to 100 and then to the right 20 pixel to the left to the bottom 100 and then to the left 20 pixel i'll go back to the desktop now I'll come over to add element and then i'm going to add a container here and i'll duplicate this now i'm going to turn on our navigator now for this one here for reference purposes i'm going to call this one our parent container now for this one here, I'm just going to call this text container. And then I'm going to come over here to the second container, this one here. And I'm going to call this one images container. Okay, for the text container, I will set the width to 60%. And for the images container, I'll set the width to 40%. Okay, now we'll come over to the images container. And then for the item direction, we're going to set it to row horizontal. Justify content to the center and then align items to the center as well. Now I'm going to come back here to add element and then select the image widget. So the image widget is now within the images container. Then I'll go to my media library and select an image that we'll use. I'll just select this image here. Go to the style option. For the width, I'll change the unit from percentage to pixel and give it a value of 120 pixel and a height of 120 pixel. Then for the object fit, I'm going to set it to cover. Let's close this structure so we see what we're working with. Okay, so this is it. We'll come over here to the border radius and then set the border radius to 10 pixels all around. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'll go to the advanced settings, come over here to where we have the class, CSS class. And then for the class here, we're going to call this one our uh, image tab. Okay, now the reason I'm adding this class is we're going to duplicate this images image in multiple times. So we want this to follow it as well. So we do not make this video long. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate this and then duplicate it again and duplicate it again. Now you can see it's becoming compressed and we do not want this. So to fix this, we'll go to the images container and then we'll come over here under the layout and for the wrap, we'll set it to wrap. Okay. So we'll continue duplicating. Now we're going to duplicate this uh, like nine times. So we'll have nine images. Okay, so this is what we'll have. So now I'm just going to pause this video where I change the images to different images. Okay, so I'm done selecting the various images here, as you can see. So now the next thing we're going to do here is going to select out of this image, which one we're going to use as our active image or yeah, active image tab. Okay, so you can set it to the first, you can set it to the middle, depending on how, whatever you want. So I'm going to use the middle because it's going to look a little bit stylish. So to do that, what we're going to do here is after selecting this one as a active tab so i'm just going to go to the advanced settings and come over here to the css class here and then give a little space and then add the class active to it so now this particular image is going to be our uh, active tab so take note of this because the comment for this particular image uh us in here we're also going to set it to active as well okay so now we're done with this particular section so the next thing we're going to do here is let's turn on our navigator so we're going to come over here to this text container and then we'll go to the add element and then we're going to add another container within it so now this container here we're going to rename it and call it text details okay so now for this text details what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to our add element and then we're going to drag the text editor within it okay and then we're going to come over here and let's just you know duplicate this text here so it's a little bit lengthy okay 
All right, so we'll have something like that. Then we'll go to the stylus and I'll tweak it a little bit for the font. We're going to come over to the font size and just set it to like, let's say, uh, 20 pixels. It's too much. Let's reduce it. Okay, to 16. Let's let's change the, the font to just poppins. All right, and then reduce this to 15 pixel and come over here to the color and then let's change the color to white. Okay, so now we're going to go back here to our add uh, element and then add the heading right here. And for this heading here, we're going to call this one here our, uh, let's give her a name, Anna. And Morris. And then we're going to come over here to the style option. And for the typography, we can reduce the font size here to something. Let's leave it at... Uh, 20 or 18 okay let's leave it as 20 pixel come over here to the color and then we're going to set the color to the um somewhat good like okay like that and then we're going to come over here and then come back to our add element and add another heading widget now set the HTML tab for this one to H3. Go to the style option and then we're going to reduce the font size to, let's set it to 14. Let's set it to 16 pixel and then come over here and set the color here to white. And then we can call this one here. Uh, our fashion. Designer. Okay. Then what we're going to do next is um, we're going to come over here to this container here, this text container here, and then we'll come over under the layout. We're going to come down to where we have the gaps and give it a gap of five pixel like that. So we'll now have something that looks like this. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do set the responsiveness of our design so that it works well on mobile screen and all. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm just going to come over here, check it out on tablet. Now, this is what we have on tablet. Okay. So now for that, for this, we're going to come over here to the parent container and then go to the layout and we're going to change the direction to column. And then we're going to come over here to this one here. That is uh, the text container and then change the width unit from per pixel to percentage and give it a value of 100. And then we'll come over here to the image, do the same. I give it a value of 100. Then we're going to come over here to the advanced settings under the image. Go to the advanced settings and come over here to order and put it to start. So we now have the image at the top and the text at the bottom. So this now looks better on tablet as you can see. Okay, so the next thing we do is we'll come over to the mobile, see how it looks on mobile. Now the images are kind of too big on mobile, so we'll, we need to fix that. So to fix that, we're going to come over to this image here, come over to the style option. Now for the width, we're going to set the width to 90 pixel, and then for the height, 90 pixel. Uh, we're going to do that for all. Now let's see if this one has, okay, just copy this, and then let's paste the style. And uh, let's paste the style. Let's paste the style. Okay, so we've pasted the style, and then that looks great. Let's come over here and see if, okay, yeah. Now, this looks better, okay? So now we can also come over here to this text here and then reduce the font size. So let's set it to maybe 14, okay? 14 or oh, 13. Yeah, 13 is better. And then for this one here, we can come over here and then set it to 18 pixel. And then for this, we come over here and now we set it to 15 pixel. All right, so we now have it looking great in the responsive mode. So now we're going to go back here. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over here to this text details here. The text details container, go to the advanced settings and come over here to where we have the class and give it a class of text details. Okay. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. So we can, to duplicate, we just add this here, we add text details one add one to it and then we duplicate it and then the next one this is for reference because you've not changed the one and set it to two 
we'll do it. I'm going to do this nine times, duplicate it nine times, which matches the amount of text we have here, which matches the amount of images we have here. So I'm just going to pause this video and do it real quick. Okay. Okay. So I've taken the time out to, uh, you know, change the, the names and their uh, profession. As you can see okay so now what i'm gonna do here next is i'm just gonna come over here and then and then we'll, i'm gonna go to each of the text details go to the advanced settings come over here and add a css id so the first css ID is going to carry text one like that and then i'm going to do it for all the text details container add the CSS class like the CSS ID and then name it text two. Add the next one, come over here and then name it text three like that, like that until we get to the final one. Okay. So now that we've done this, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here. Let's just toggle this and I'll come over to the image. Now for the image, image container, we'll come over to the images. The first image here, I'm going to come over here and remember, we've actually come over here and then we set this particular middle image here. If you remember here, we added it. Okay, we're going to give it a tag. When I was doing the mobile responsiveness and I copied details, I think we replaced it, this active class here. That was why it's removed from here. So now, as we selected this middle one as our active image, I'm just going to add this active class here to the content that is meant for it. So this one here is uh, number one, two, three, four, five, our fifth image here. So now we're going to come over here to our text just to make sure we get it right. Just to make sure we get it right, we're just going to come over here to the text details for number five and then we're going to come over to the advanced settings we'll have the text details and we're going to give gap here and set it to active as well so whatever one you select here to be your active make sure you select the corresponding text details here to be active as well okay so now for these individual images here i'm going to come over to the first image then i'm going to go down to where we have the attribute then i'm going to come over here and write data everything so and then I'm going to add this and then give it a value of one. Now, this is what we're going to do for all the images. I'll come over here to the advanced settings, come over here to the attribute, and then we'll paste this. Now, we'll change the one to number two because the second image, go to the third image, do the same, like that, like that, and number it until you get to the ninth image. Change this one here to three. Okay, so I finally added this uh, attribute to all the classes here. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add our code here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here and then I'm going to go to search for the HTML. I'm going to search for the HTML widget and I'm going to drag it and drop it here. Okay, so now before we go further, I'm just going to come over here and toggle this and then I'm going to go to the parent container. Go to the advanced settings, come down to where we have the custom CSS. And then I'll go to my code editor and I'm going to copy out this CSS code here. I'll just copy that. And then I'll come over here and I'm going to paste the code here. Now you're going to notice something. You can see now that, let's just close this structure for now. You can see now that this one here is selected while others are uh, a little bit faint, as you can see. Now this is the reason for this is, this is the one we set as our active uh, image okay so now the next thing i'll do now is come back here to where we have our html tag and then go back to my code editor and then select the javascript code now do not worry about this code it's going to be made available on the comment section and also on the video description for you to copy and use in your project okay so now i'm just going to come over here and i'm going to paste the code here now you can see this is what we'll have our effect as taking place okay so now we're missing something all right so now let's click on publish and then let's come over here and click on preview. And you can see our image is, if it is taking place.
So that's pretty much it about this tutorial. If you come over here and click on this, it's going to go back here and view it. Click on this, it's going to start from there and you can view it like that. Anyone you click on, it takes you to show you the details of that particular PC. Okay, and this effect is responsive on all devices. Okay. And so we've come to the end of this video. If you learned something new from this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. Feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or have any suggestion or question. And I'll do what to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.